Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Sapper Stakes is an event that provides an opportunity for leaders at varying levels to really operate autonomously, challenge the status quo for their training events, and get a good measure for where they as a leader stand, as well as their execution and performance from a team perspective. The Sapper Stakes event is really important for the soldiers that are competing because it gives them a good measuring stick for where they stand in their own training and their own performance. Um, it's a good self-reflective look. Uh, into how successful they are and uh, allows them an opportunity to identify gaps in their strengths and, and opportunities for improvement. So this event has really given a lot of younger leaders an opportunity to kind of step out of their mold and really take that leadership position. Uh, it provides them an opportunity to be dynamic in their leadership and really flex in the autocratic or the democratic ways based on the situation that they're provided. Uh, we've had a number of fairly soft-spoken leaders uh, that we didn't know were, were so excellent and so proficient in their duties uh, until they were presented with a situation where the guardrails were gone. Uh, and it's really nice to be able to see some of these young leaders step into those situations, really take control of the situation, um, everything from sustainment to actual execution and leadership. Some of the events that we go through, one of my favorites that we, we like to do, we did a demo range where we were able to construct different charges for different uses using shape charges, C4, uh, deck cord, that kind of stuff where we get great on how we calculate our charges, build them, and blow them up. Everything's based off different point systems, like for the demo range earlier, I believe the point system was based off whether you can correctly identify the military nomenclature of the different charges and the equipment used how your math calculations are with the uh, explosive weights, as well as how well you assemble the charges, priming, uh, laying them out, position and placement. I think it's extremely important because it's kind of like I said earlier, the culminating event. Uh, we practice these skills in a training environment all year from October to September, go through our ECT and all of our battle assemblies, and then we finally kind of, as soldiers, get to show our leadership, this is what you guys taught us, this is what we're doing and we're ready if you guys need us. Um, we've got recon NCOs, we've got operations NCOs, we've got operations officers that are really dedicated to making sure that not only the everyday activities are, are working the way they should for events before and beyond the sapper stakes, but also to make sure that we have you know, absolute mission success here.